Alright guys, we are actually really short of time. Even though we come here for four days, three nights, there's a lot of things to explore. So during the first day, we are going to actually um, explore the Dead Valley to walk around the area and see what type of interesting stuff they have there. So without further ado, let's go. This church is actually a historic church. Oh, it looks nice. But normally I won't go in because it takes a bit of time to go in and have a look. And then I couldn't actually take some photos inside or videos anyway. So we'll just have a look from the outside. Oh, this tram is very, very long. All right, this is the Victoria Hotel. They have a very big travel ex here. I heard they say that um, there is one sex museum here, but I didn't actually saw where is it. So maybe I'll just walk around there and check it out. If I found that, I could share with you as well. All right, guys, finally I found it. It's this sex museum here is just opposite this one hour canal cruise. This is the whole row of the cruise. There's a long queue here so I don't think we are going in. It's 9 euro per person. Oh, check out the long queue here. It's mannequin piece, the one that we ate in Belgium. Mm. A lot of people here. Wow, you check out the casino here, it's so huge. Don't see the weather here, it's about 10 degrees, but it's really, really cold. Huh? My hand is cramming. I'm cramped now in my hand. Very, very cold. I felt that my hand is going to turn into ice. Many, 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 many people. A lot of people. Hello, mommy. Is it cold? Yes, so very cold. cold. <laughs> she is freezing. And then hungry. I want to pay shot. <laughs> Check this out, they have Primark here. Mm, oh my god. Hopefully we don't go in and buy stuff anymore because my bag is full. I love this restaurant. It's all made of glass. If you take some photos or videos here, definitely will be very very beautiful. Guys, it's called the Binge Kof. It's a Netherlands Harrods. The Binge Kof is a prestigious chain of department store in the Netherlands, renowned for its flagship store located on Dam Square in Amsterdam. Owned by the Felgi Fridges Group, 
the Brinchkov shares its elite company with Britain Selfridges and Islands Brown Thomas and Arnolds. It's a place where locals and tourists will visit when they are in Amsterdam. Guys, this is the place where the Madame Tausot is here. Interesting, it's just beside this structure. And of course, beside this branded Harrods in Netherlands. Madame Tausot Amsterdam is a popular wax museum located in the heart of Amsterdam, the capital of the Netherlands. Situated on Dam Square near the Royal Palace, it features life life wax figures of famous personalities from history, entertainment, sports, and more. The museum's interactive exhibits and themed display offer an engaging experience for visitors of all ages, providing insights into the art of wax sculpting and the lives of iconic figures. This is the Netherlands Amsterdam uh, Palace. It's just beside the Madame Tausot. This is actually the Dam Square. This is the center of the city or the town. The Dam Square, or simply the Dam, is the central hub in Amsterdam, the capital and most popular city in the Netherlands. The square is renowned for its significant buildings and frequent events, making it one of the most iconic and important spots in the city and the country. One of the most notable landmarks is the National Monument. In 1956, Senopath dedicated to the casualties of World War II and subsequent armed conflicts. Every year on May 4th, the National Remembrance of the Dead Ceremony is held here drawing people from across the countries. Actually, there's a lot of streets of shopping here. Selling souvenirs, branded stuff, restaurants. It's all the same as what we saw in other European countries. But this is interesting. Maybe they are selling different things. Foods might be a bit different as well. Alright guys, I think we have arrived at the 9 shopping street. This is a street where there's a lot of shopping stores here for people to shop around. It's just like uh, besides the Dam Square, it's just another road from there. So now we are actually exploring the type of things that they have here. Did you know that this cannabis is selling here legally? It's being used by all the Netherlands people. Like drugs. Wow, oh, check this out. There's so many flavors here. If you would like to try, you can actually get one of these, but you have to try it here. You cannot bring outside of Netherlands because it's illegal, yeah? Alright, let's get moving. Walk to go, Chinese food. Guys, whenever you come to Netherlands and you see this coffee shop, please don't go in. It's not a real coffee shop. They are, good. They are actually taking drugs, the cannibals that uh, I shared with you just now. Guys, they even have the Nyonya Malaysian Express. Hmm, that's interesting. Let's check out what they have here. Guys, 
please check this out. There's a lot of other shop here. If you are tired of walking, there's a Chinese massage here as well. This massage for one to two hours and you are good to go. Guys, another shopping centre here. It doesn't look like one, right? This Magna Plaza is an indoor shopping centre located in a historical building behind the Royal Palace. Built at the end of the 19th century, this former post office is now an exclusive shopping destination with more than 20 stores plus a new exhibition space spread over four floors. The clothes and shoes to jewellery and hair saloons. The Magna Plaza Indoor Shopping Centre has an excellent variety of shops. Just a few of the brands you'll find including Mango, Sawoski, Juice and Lacos. Magna Plaza is worth a visiting just for the new gothic architecture and impressive interior, combining classical grandeur with a modern shopping experience. Oh, this is a really long queue. The Anne Frank House is a historical site where Anne Frank and her family hide from the Nazis during the World War II. Although the ticket was sold out during our visit, we lingered in the area to soak into the historical ambience and managed to take some photos at the entrance. It's a pogonium place with a secret pathway used by Anne Frank, though we didn't get to see it this time. We then continue our stroll throughout the city. The red light district is just nearby here and they have a shop that is selling all those uh, sexual stuff for the red light district. That's interesting right? But uh, we are going to go over the red light district maybe this tonight but then most of it we can't do anything because we can't shoot anything there. Guys uh, check this out. They like to actually sit on top of the balcony like this. And so some one of the shops that's selling all those lace and sex stuff as well. So you can check. I think um, there's another one here that's interesting. We stop by to the House of Rituals as the place looks interesting. It's a brand new holistic shopping and lifestyle concept in the town. Shoppers were able to discover a range of exclusive and unique collections and navigate a journey of personal well-being. I've managed to try out its live prediction machine on the top floor of the shopping. Check out what I've got. Guys, we are at the 9th Street shopping. So this is the shopping street um, that is available next to the Dam Square. So now we are actually walking around and explore what our 
shops that they have here. Amsterdam Lime Streets is a charming area praised by the New York Times for its land designer boutiques, art galleries, vintage clothing stores, and cozy cafes. is a hidden gem behind the Royal Palace on Dam Square. It's a favorite among shoppers searching for specialty products and unique gifts, making it a delightful place to explore and unwind. So guys, I think there's a lot of things to explore in this dam square if you are a shopaholic or like to shop for stuff here. And there's a lot of bridges that you can take photos here around here as well. So uh, if you like to come to Amsterdam, this is uh, one of the places that you must come over. And I guess you should use about one to two days depending on how good your shopaholic is. So I think um, that's all folks for my sharing on the dam square in Amsterdam. I hope you like watching today. If you like my video, please do press the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell if you haven't already done so. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in my